Hey guys, we are talking about the number properties. So in geometry, it is very, very important before we get into what are called proofs that we know our number properties for all of our algebraic situations. Let's take a look. It says match each expression with the property that it shows. So the first one I have here is five plus zero equals five. Now we know whenever you add zero to anything, the result is the same. That is always what's called an identity. An identity is when the answer is identical to the original value. So five plus zero, adding zero doesn't change anything to the original number, and that's why it's called an identity. So this would be what's called the additive identity. The next one, five times one equals five, we also know that multiplying anything by one results in the same answer as well. The answer is identical to what it started out with. So when you're multiplying by one, that's what's called the multiplicative identity. Five times zero is zero. We know any number times zero results in zero. That's just simply called the zero product property. Sometimes it's also called the multiplication property of zero. They mean the same exact thing. Next one, two plus three equals three plus two. When you have two numbers being added and the order just simply switches, that's called the commutative property. It does not matter what order we add numbers in, the result would be the same. Two plus three is five, so is three plus two, it's five. So that is my commutative property of addition. Two times three equals three times two. The same is also true for multiplication. Side by side means to multiply. Does not matter what order we multiply in, 2 times 3 is equal to 3 times 2. They're both equal to 6. That's my commutative property of multiplication. The next one, 2 plus, and then in parentheses, 3 plus 4, equals 2 plus 3 is in the parentheses, plus 4. Now, the order of my numbers did not change. 2, 3, 4 is still 2, 3, 4. But the grouping symbols change their spots. It's like what got associated with each other. In the first side on the left, 3 plus 4 got associated with each other, got grouped together. And on the right hand side, 2 plus 3 was associated or grouped together. When the order doesn't change, but the grouping symbols do for, for addition and multiplication, because that's next, that is called the associative property. So this one here would be the associative property of addition. The next one, same idea, they're all being multiplied. 2 times 3 times 4 equals 2 times 3 times 4. So the order of the numbers did not change, and honestly, you get the exact same result. Look at this. 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 12 is 24. Well, 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 4 is also 24. That is your associative property of multiplication. It doesn't matter which ones you group or multiply together first. Because it's multiplication, you're going to get the same answer in the end. And then our last one, 3 times the sum of 2 plus 5 equals 6 plus 15. I can see here that I'm doing my distributive property. 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 5 is 15. And so that would be an example of using the distributive property. Easy. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.